We are Science Sophie. This is Coastal News, a home and away podcast. Your weekly episode companion podcast for your favourite Aussie soap. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to Coastal News First Look. This is the episode that we put out on a Sunday evening, in addition to our main podcast episode that we upload on Saturdays. On Saturday's episode, we review last week's drama in Summer Bay. But on Sunday night, in First Look, we take a little sneaky peek ahead to the episodes that will be airing on Channel 5 and Five Star this week. So before we crack on, I must say there may be some spoilers here. So spoiler alert. Um, Hi, Sai. Hello. Good evening. You all right? I'm all right. How are you? Not too bad. Thank you. There may be some spoilers. Maybe some spoilers. First Look. Maybe. Yes, I reckon there'll be a lot of spoilers. <laughs> Whether we understand the spoilers or not is, is another <laughs> is another thing. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like we're watching a different show to these, doesn't it? it do, I don't think we get you know where it's really cryptic. I don't think we get many right. You know when we think, oh, this is all this will be about uh, this, and then we get uh, completely wrong. It's part I think of the that's, fun, though, isn't it? I was going to say yeah. it's part of the part of the game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. of course it is. Talking of a game. We have a little game that we play, don't we? Before we start, first look. Oh, where we do. One yeah. of us has to guess the episode number of the episode that we're going to watch next, which is for us because we watch at six thirty p.m. Five star pace. It will be Monday's six thirty p.m. episode. Do you know the episode number? No, I don't think I do. Oh, so fair. You let down. Um, now, <laughs> I got it wrong well, last week. I'm, I? I was about to say, I will now remind you that you were the first one to blink. <laughs> I don't broke the chain. <laughs> Damn it. Broke the chain, <laughs> broke the seal. Uh, um, um, now, by doing so, you've done me a favour. Oh, I have really. Because, have. yeah, because I remember the, the incorrect number, bizarrely. Oh, damn it. Okay. Not the correct one. So I believe we're on eight thousand mm-hmm. seventy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. Two. <laughs> Did you say two? Yeah. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Chris. Okay. Right. I'm just going to put it through the machine. Boom, Correct. Boom, boom, boom. Correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is. It's- 8072 can you believe it 8072 mm. just mad isn't it it's just mad we're gonna have to start prepping the 9000th prod oh i think that's a way off yet <laughs> <laughs> <But yeah. laughs> thinking ahead <laughs> i'll be dead by then <laughs> Charming. no not you me i'm the old one <laughs> what is it? it's only about two years away yeah, it's fine. I'll be, I'll, yeah, I'll be in, I'll be in a home or something by then. Just come and visit oh. me. Yeah, be fine. Um, okay. <laughs> Read it first. Look to me, please do. In the, uh, in the wet room. <laughs> <laughs> Pull in the card. <laughs> and then Marilyn. Beam. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, oh, we're getting God. daft. So oh, I'll let you fine. continue. It's fine. It's bank holiday. We're letting our hair down. It's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Monday's episode then starts off with Tane and Felicity don't see eye to eye. Mm. Yeah, really. This is about this text message, isn't it? So on the end of Friday's oh, yeah. episode on Five Star, it looks like Flick's being blackmailed by her attacker, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, we forgot to talk about this yesterday, really. We sort of went past this bit. But what did you think of this? Like, did we need this for this storyline? It's very weird, isn't it? Because does it suggest that this person knows Flick and has her phone number? Yes, like, how, how it does. How did he get her phone? I don't understand how he got her phone number. Knows who she... Because this isn't just a random attack now. This isn't just, I've seen this girl in this this venue, I've spiked her, I've, you know, assaulted her, and then I've walked away and got away with it. He knows who she is. He knows her phone number. Her phone number. And he only wants $1,000 or he's going to show the video that could incriminate him. I don't yeah. get it. I don't no, understand. 
it seems no, a bit of an odd way to take it. You're right. You know, sh- this this blackmail thing is happening and it really seems to have scared her, doesn't it? You know, mm. like she's really worried about this. Yeah. And I don't think I think they're not seeing eye to eye thing. It was about what they do next. Yeah. Because was, wasn't yeah. there a little clip in like the trailer that sort of said, let's take this to cash. And she was like, no, I don't want him to see it. I don't want him to know. But. Oh, they, God. they they need mm. to report this, you know. They, it's mm. they need to trace this number. Someone close to home, man. Yeah, mm. it's not good. Mm. It's not good. Mm. Actually, do you know what? I forgot to mention <laughs> this on your say on the bay yesterday, but a couple of people on Facebook have theories that it's Kahu, which I just think is seriously wow. weird. Yeah. A up now. Then do you remember when? Ah, hang on. Do you remember when? Do you remember when I was saying that had Kahu and her had a thing in New Zealand on the honeymoon, and that's oh. why he came? Do you remember when I said that? Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. I wonder if it's no. I wonder if it's something. Oh, is it? Oh, now my mind's running wild. Is it but Kahu? The, the, the text message definitely says, "Remember me from Battle of the Bands." So it's definitely about Battle of the Bands. But somebody on Facebook yesterday was saying, I think it's Kahu. And mm. I was thinking, I don't, I don't think I agree. It, well, yeah, he's, 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 I mean, I mean, Tane took him there. So he's in New Zealand, isn't he? And how did he get back and to Battle of the Bands knew that she was there before Tane got back to the bay? Yeah, because Tane was still on his way home then, wasn't he? Yeah, I don't think it fits. But it does feel yeah. like maybe it is somebody that we know, which makes it oh just so much worse. A bit creepy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, creepy. Uh, okay, so Cash vows to find out what's ha- what's bugging Felicity. Well, it's this text message, isn't it? So. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm gonna say. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's whether whether mm. they actually come clean and tell him and say that this is happening because she didn't seem in that train that we saw she didn't seem very keen on her brother finding out for whatever reason which is stupid no. because he's a copper they need to trace That'll, his number they need, you, need to find out who it is and you just know in the next episode that you're about to read he's going to find out so, probably like... <laughs> probably <I hope> so. <laughs> oh no right okay you know we were laughing about Jirene on the pod yesterday oh, yeah. and how, fu- how funny this was it says Marilyn suffers as a result of Irene's prank so is this suffering the the jealousy, do we think? That she's, oh, you know, she doesn't seem very happy about this Irene and John hooking up. My, uh, Marilyn suffers. suffers. Do you know, I wonder if um, Jet's bumped her off the wedding. <laughs> I doubt it. That's his mum. No, he wouldn't do that to her, would he? Is it his mum? It's his stepmom, isn't it? They didn't they adopt Jet? Yeah. Adopted him. Did Marilyn? Was it Marilyn or was it Gina that adopted him? No, it was Gina was on the way to adopt him when she died in that car, didn't she? And oh. then Marilyn and John adopted him later. Okay. Yeah. Is oh, right? at, at, in fact, it was at their wedding. He stood up, didn't he, and said, "Yeah, it's coming back to me now. Will you know? Will you adopt me?" It was his speech at their wedding, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his, yeah. that's his mama. He's not going to knock her off the guest list, is he? I think. Well, she's she can't still... even be asked to go down there, so maybe he would. <laughs> that's true, actually. She just <laughs> wants to send a Bob some money his way, doesn't she? From Stunning Organics, but I don't know. I think maybe it suffers because she's jealous. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it must be something. She's like that, she's yeah. suffering, you know, emotionally, or or is or are the whole town like taking pity on her you know because her ex is with irene no oh, maybe yeah mm. Mm. okay next episode it says will mercedes leave lyric in the lurch yeah yeah or will yeah. she know oh will she know because will she enjoy sticking around and, and winding mm, brie up she, yeah she probably would actually Oh. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling Remy's going to be stuck in the middle with her. <laughs> um, yeah. I think she, I think she's going to ultimatum blackmail, you know, 
Really? I think I think she's got it in her. Yeah, mm. I'll tell her unless you do this, or you know, mm, yeah, oh yeah, I could, could ruin you. I could ruin you. Mm. Yeah, we'll have to see, won't we? I mean, if, if we're to believe that they've been friends since boarding school, you know, we've, she's got all these stories about them, you know, at school and him being a naughty boy and all this stuff. They've been to they've been friends for a long, long, long time, and they've never been romantically involved. Would they really throw away a friendship over this? I suppose they have to if if Bree finds out. Don't well, they? yeah, but also remember, we know Eden knows. Yeah, that's true. So Eden could be having words with her, mm. but it sounds like could could because it's a question, isn't it? Could Mercedes leave Lyric in the lurch? Mm. So it sounds like they've all gone to the recording studio, and it's a like a will will she or won't she appear? Yeah, because then Theo and and <coughs> Kirk, then Kirby, they won't know why she's not there, will they? Because oh, they won't have any clues. So they'll just be like, "Where's Mercedes?" And he'll be like, "Ah, yeah. I yeah, don't gonna know." Have to explain themselves, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. Mm. And Eden will be like, "Oh uh, yeah, where is Mercedes, Remy?" <laughs> yeah. Mm. Okay. Interesting. It says John comes clean. So has he told Marilyn that it's all a joke and? It's yeah, well, he's real. he's struggling to keep up himself anyway, bless him. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> the the whole reason she got invited to Jet's wedding was actually an accident, wasn't it? Because she was doing that to to wind people up and say, oh, yeah, I'm going to be a plus one doll. And he was like, oh, right. And he actually phoned Jet, didn't he, and said, I'm bringing Irish to the <laughs> wedding. Because later on he goes, um, Jet's added you to the guest list. And she's like, what? I was joking. That was for everyone else's benefit. So he's not really sure when she's messing with him with him and when she's not is and he jet jet managed to make another place at the wedding exactly. two days <laughs> two days <laughs> <laughs> exactly two days before yeah which marilyn says oh yeah that's the uh, you know that would have been quite inconvenient for jet mm. to do that mm. Mm. yeah it looks like he's fessing up doesn't it he can't he yeah. can't deal with the uh, with pulling the wool over her eyes he was anymore, maybe. he was flapping from the beginning he was yeah He's very honest, isn't he? I don't think he likes deception and and hurting people's feelings and stuff is not really not really his thing, is it? it yeah, and it does have. I mean, if we're talking, I mean, it, we've had it a few days this week. It's sort of a week long joke now, isn't it? At this point, <laughs> yeah. And like, it does have the sort of there's a fine line, isn't there, with sort of taking something too far? Maybe it's getting to that point. Yeah, yeah. Irene thinks it's hilarious and John's not quite there, is he? I don't think. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because he really loves her. Anyway, go on. Yeah, I hope so. Um, is Justin losing Andrew to Tegan? Yeah. That's another yeah. yeah. I think so, isn't he? Maybe not Maybe not next week, but I think eventually Andrew yeah. will want to go with his sister, won't he? If, if, yeah. Yeah. If Tegan's not going to be a regular, I think she's a guesty, isn't she? Because I've not heard anything. Have you heard anything that she's sticking around? No, no. No, me neither. And it's obviously Andrew going off into the sunset, isn't it? Mm. Um, and it makes sense. He's got that got that connection with her. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, Justin and Leah are strangers, really. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they don't they don't really know Andrew. They don't, you know, he, mm. at least she can say this is what mum is like, you know, when she mm. was alive, this is what mum was like, this is what you were like. She you knows she's already filling in some of those gaps because we found out this week that, you know, Andrew did have swimming lessons. He's not just a natural fish as <laughs> as just Justin <laughs> called him. You know, so she she does remember, she does have more memories of, of Andrew when he was a kid and that when they were together. So yeah, and it he's just, gonna connect it makes with more that, sense. isn't he? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh dear. Remy lets Mercedes down gently and Brie overhears a shocking secret. Mm-hmm. I think those two are related, aren't they? I think so. I wonder so if he, Brie hears probably... Eden. Or does Remy letting Mercedes down gently? Does he go, look, you know, I know you tried to kiss me. And she goes, what? Well, he deserves everything he he, yeah. he gets. I, I mm. think I think I said it yesterday. Bree needs to kick him to the curb. 
Yeah, I think he did right up until he 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 did wrong by shutting his eyes to it. Bree was telling him all along, you know, there's something going on here. He did wrong by her by not agreeing. But I had to give him the benefit of the doubt because he knows Mercedes better than Brie. So I was like, I'm going to have to give him the benefit of the doubt because they're friends. You know, they've never gone there before. Maybe he knows her. Maybe she's like this all the time. Maybe she's just a flirty person. I was giving her the benefit of the doubt. He did right when she kissed him by immediately shutting him, shutting her down. But since then, he's made all the wrong choices, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and I think I think his actions are speaking louder than his words, as I said yesterday. You know, we disagreed mm. a bit on that, didn't we? But um, mm, I think his actions are saying more than his words. Yeah, he's in the wrong for sure. And Bree wouldn't be in the wrong to kick him to the curb at this point, I don't think. Nope. Oh, dear. I'm not looking forward to it. But yeah, it's going to happen. Um, Andrew is torn between Justin and Tegan. Oh, God. Do you know what that's making me think? You know when you've got a puppy and you split up with somebody and then both of you have, like, a treat and you're going, come come to me, come to me. And the dog's in the middle going, <laughs> which which one? Which one do I, I want the treat from both of them? <sighs> oh. Have you done this often? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Who gets to I've seen it, the dog? I've seen it on Judge Judy. <laughs> <laughs> this is how she settles you know when you know when people go to court and they like disputing who owns the dog she's done yeah. this before where she puts the, own, the owners on different sides of the room and she goes i'm gonna let the dog choose <laughs> like, this <laughs> makes me die and the dog goes to one of them she goes right you've got the dog <laughs> <laughs> i love it it's hilarious <laughs> oh no so it could be andrew could be running between justin's snacks and and tegan's snacks i guess like a puppy Mm. like a puppy dog Mm. yep okay well we've got our answer so spoiler alert the next episode (laughs) said (laughs) okay that lasted long (laughs) lasted a whole day uh justin finds a way to let andrew go oh he's off he's he's off off this week he's andrew yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Good it? It's a while it lasted. He was a, yeah, he was a great character. He was. And it's I think the actor made him really, really likable and really relatable. He did. Yeah, he did a really good job because it's such a, mm. a, a sort of bizarre scenario, isn't it? It's not a normal kind of teenage character. With, it's such a bizarre background and to play it so well. Yeah. I think I think he did a really good job of translating that into what we saw. Yeah. Uh, Brie, oh god, Brie confronts Remy over his lies, so it has all come out. Oh, so she stewed on it for a few days as well. Oh god. Yeah. Because she heard it a few days ago, didn't she? It was yesterday. Secret. Yeah. Oh, I don't was know it? it was. It was. It was the day before's episode that she overhears the shocking secret. But whether it's, you know, stewed over. Oh god. Good. Night and. Confront him. He's lied to you, and he could have just yeah. been upfront. Yeah. It's his fault. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's made his bed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. Okay, Rose has a romance on the mind with Marley. Oh, really? She's going to romance the Marley. Oh, God, what does that involve? <laughs> I don't know. Does that, does that fill you with anything? Any response? Any? Um, it makes me feel a bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you. I don't want to see it. I just feel nothing when we talk about them. I just don't think they they come across to me like more platonic, more yeah. sibling type relationship now. They don't have that fire. Mm. Uh, it makes me it makes me cringe, I'll be honest, but there we go. Oh dear, it didn't go well anyway because <laughs> So the day, before, <laughs> the day before it says Rose has got romance on the mind, and then the next episode it starts with Rose wants answers. So that can't be good. Oh. Oh. Do you love me or not? Do you love me? Do you love me? <laughs> oh no! It's gonna be, isn't it? Oh god! Where's this going? What do you see our future doing? Do you know? Is this just? Are we just a bunk up? Where's? Are we getting serious? What day is this supposed to be on? This will be Friday, um, six thirty p.m. Oh, well. Mm, end of the week. Yeah. Friday's my day. Don't matter if I miss that one. 
<laughs> not like you've got a podcast to do or anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. It's an episode. Don't matter. I'll just fill, it, fill the blanks in next week. Okay. And then the last line of the week for next week is Remy stands by Brie and Mercedes is torn in half. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, hang on. Right. Remy stands by Brie. Mm-hmm. Like she's done something that he needs to stand by. I don't understand that at all, but there we go. And Mercedes I wonder, is torn. I wonder if she said choose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Make a decision. But then what's Mercedes torn about? Unless it's the album. Maybe Remy said you can stay and do the album, but me and Brie, we're a thing. You and me, we're never going to be a thing. I don't think Brie would be comfortable with that. No, I wouldn't be, I'll be honest, but she's probably a better person than oh. I am. <laughs> so Maybe she, might... she may, yeah, she gets another offer and it's like, mm. stay and deal with this melodrama or go. Mm. Well, you know what we want? Go, love. Yeah. Get, on your, get on your bike. On your bike, literally. Burn some rubber. Mm. <laughs> 